Chagas disease is also known as hypertrophic or hyperplastic gastropathy. It is much more frequent in males than females with a ratio of approximately three males to one female. It tends to affect adults in the 30s to 50s. Menetrias is rare in children but if it does occur in children it may be associated with CMV infection, that's cytomegalovirus. The underlying cause of menetrias is an increase in transforming growth factor alpha or TGF alpha and is also associated with H. pylori infection in adults. Menetrias may be asymptomatic but when there are symptoms there may be upper abdominal or epigastric pain, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, weight loss and superficial erosions of the gastric mucosa may cause bleeding. The effect of menetrias on the stomach is to cause a decrease in hydrochloric acid production but an increase in mucus production that can lead to protein loss with decreased albumin and resulting edema. Grossly, when the stomach is affected by menetrias, the mucosal folds are giant and hypertrophied or hyperplastic with a sort of cerebriform or brain-like appearance and the giant folds tend to affect the body and fundus of the stomach with the antrum being spared. There is hyperplasia of superficial mucus glands, corkscrew and dilated foveolar glands with atrophy of glands and there may be a little edema and mild inflammation in the lamina propria. Here is a gross image of menetrias showing these giant mucosal folds resembling the surface of the brain or cerebriform appearance. Here is a low power image of the histology of menetrias showing the hyperplastic polypoid appearance of the mucosa and on a higher power you can see atrophic cystically dilated glands with some edema and a sprinkling of inflammatory cells in the lamina propria. Radiologically and gastroscopically the differential diagnosis includes Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, gastritis, adenocarcinoma and lymphoma. So a gastric biopsy is quite a useful diagnostic tool. Drug treatment is with cetuximab, although partial gastrectomy may be required in more severe cases. In children, menetrias tends to resolve spontaneously and another treatment that is required in menetrias is a high protein diet to replace the lost protein. Yeah.